Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play some Final Fantasy V. In the last episode, as punishment for being more awesome, Exodus sent Gilgamesh into the rift, where I'm sure he'll never be seen or heard from again. So, as per the video description in the last episode, you should always read those things in anybody's video, by the way. Run the hell away! Alright, fine, I'll kick your butt while I'm trying to run away. Um, I now have dual cast on my side. Run, thank you. And I did a little messing around with it, and I have employed a strategy for this fight that, to be fair, is kind of risky. But I do have a backup plan that I'm going to utilize in case that this goes really, really south. Unfortunately, I did not learn um, whatever friggin' spell Gil oh, time slip, and I will not be able to learn Doom from this battle, but that's okay because I can learn both of those later anyway. Hold, villain! You shall not do whatever the hell you were planning to do in the first place. <laughs> well, then Chris has told us to, and, and, and Gary said you were evil. Well, you are evil. Well, technically, we don't know that. <laughs> well, you're a freaking evil demon. Of course nobody's going to get your motives because the rest of us aren't evil. We're RPG heroes. Alright, well, let's see how this goes. i slice you in two, villain. Now, what sucks about... uh? dual cast over here. Thank god the uh, the menu stays put. Um, but you have to scroll through every spell on this list, which is kind of a pain in the butt. And the only reason I'm using Thundaga is because it's the last spell on the list and that's it's like the easiest to scroll to. So you stab him. I probably should have taken off time magic because, well, now with Reflect, I don't really need time magic, or rather I don't really have that much of a use for it, but that's alright. That's alright. All right, all right. So here's where it's gonna get really fun. Because I figured this out. <laughs> oh, this is great. because I can't heal myself because I don't have white wind because I don't have anybody who um the only person who who can use the blue magic command is bubbles I, 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 I was gonna put him on Seymour as a backup um, but his blue he only has enough for learning he doesn't have enough to actually cast blue magic on his own so I couldn't have that as an emergency so this is why this is a little risky but I'm really glad this is doing as much damage as it is Now, I don't understand why reflecting your spell makes it twice as powerful, because, yeah, it's on four targets, but normally, spreading on that many targets splits the damage. And yet it does, but because there's four of us, it somehow multiplies it back. And I don't get that part, but whatever. Oh, no! Um, actually, no, they're just pulsating. And they're still pulsating. And now they're breaking! Well, that sucked. Oh well, villain's defeated, game's over. Curses are shattered, world's doomed. Well, does that mean this place sucks as now as much as the original one was? I don't know. A hollow victory that was. The hell? Wait, did we actually blow up the castle and yet somehow survive? Okay, does the game expect me to press something here? Yeah, shake that off. Hi! Hi, hi! We did it, everybody! That's what? Well, 
I'm sure this is not any sort of plot expedition of any kind whatsoever. And now, 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 did the little nap actually heal me up? No, it didn't. Okay. I figured I had a 50-50 shot, so... Let's go in the castle! Doesn't he always? Hello, children! I have saved the world! Villain is dead. There's nothing more to do in this game, ever. I am never gonna go visit that talking tortoise. Nope. Nope. I will never get a power of friendship scene. Move! Go. Get out of my way! Would you people move? Let's see, what else? I will never be reunited with my beloved Chocobo. Or either of my beloved dragons. Nope. Never, ever going to happen. Alright, so their dialogue doesn't even change. What is wrong with you people? Hello, sir. How are you doing? Wait, what the hell? How does he know that's me? How does he know? How does he know? What, didn't we tell him he died the last time we were here? How do they know? Did, did they just like kind of put two and two together once we left or something? But then how are they so sure? Did they like overhear a conversation we had in the castle or something that was in some invisible cutscene we didn't see in the game? Yeah, what are you doing? Get off me! Excuse me! Excuse me! Heroes of the world here! I am no mere acquaintances. We are friends. We are heroes. We are a team. Get your slimy mitts off me! See, now that's more like it. <laughs> now, a little while ago, I was shown some, uh, concept art for this. Oh god. <laughs> and um, anyway, um, my first thought then and now is how did they get her in the dress? I mean, after thinking about her more and more, I, I don't think Ferris has any objection to the fact that she's female in, in any sort of capacity. But I do, do think she objects to actually equating being a female with being feminine. And I don't think she would be caught dead in a dress. I mean, she didn't want to come out here wearing it. How did they get her in it? Like, how did she agree to this? Bubbles, where are you going? But anyway, uh, despite the lack of uh, overall shipping in this game, yeah, uh, apparently Bar uh, Seymour still still has the hots for Ferris here, so... Excuse me, I would like to talk to the ladies here! Is that a problem, madams and sirs? <sighs> Screw you, people! No, 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 I want to talk to that other guy up there. Hit the left button, thank you. Yeah, except the king's kind of dead, and you people are ditching me! Let me talk to the ladies over here. Alright, fine. I'll explore your castle. Fine. I'll go take care of Bubbles later. While you're busy dancing over there, I am totally gonna, you know, raid your stuff and everything. So yeah, Seymour Ferris. It's a thing now. Why? Just because it's utterly hilarious to think about. Considering, you know, he still thought she was hot when, you know... <laughs> the king's bed! Alright. You know, when, even when... He thought she was a dude. There's something there. I'll make something out of it. Shipping it more for the lulls. Well, she was like freaking five. Jesus. And it's not like you have seatbelts on that damn thing, so... But anyway, you know, I, I, I am aware of Legend of the Crystals, so we, we, we know he screwed somebody. He hooked up with somebody in the end. Hmm. 
Now, did I already raid this place at like the beginning of the game? Because I know I was here very, very early on, but I don't know in what capacity I have been in this castle. Alright, those are like the balconies, right? Alright. No, nothing in here. I is this where like Herman sleeps? Is this his like cave? Inside the castle? I'm the king of the world! Sorry, I felt the need to do that. Alright. So nothing out there. But yeah, why don't they have any sort of restraints on those dragons? Seems kind of unsafe. But then again, maybe they, you know, like, trust their winged companions, which I wouldn't blame them for, but... Like, I don't think the, the dragons would deliber deliberately dump them off. Hey, Bubbles, what's going on? Yeah, it sucks about him, but hey, we saved the world! Alright. Why, ha has he, like, come to you as an apparition? I wouldn't doubt that might happen. But hurry for what? We killed the bad guy! And just so you know, people, yes, I'm feigning ignorance. I don't know what exactly is ahead, but I just know it's something. Alright, so they did kick the girls out of my party. You better not have taken my equipment with you! I better be getting that back. Wait, 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 what? Bubbles? Excuse me, heroes of the world here. Can't we say, excuse me, I'd like a word with the princess, please. And they'd be like, which one? And we'd be like, I don't care. But just so, farewell, ladies. I need what a weird name. That's a perfectly fine name. Well, how wonderful it will be if you let me buy. Oh, they're gonna say the same thing? Alright, fine. Yeah, it would be wonderful, but you know what? They're my friends now, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah we're, we're, uh, we're to totally neglecting the fact that one of them used to dress as a man, right? And I actually probably still does. Yeah, let's explore the castle some more. We haven't fully left yet. Hi! That was the same dialogue you said like 20 episodes ago. And I think you said that like 20 minutes and 20 minutes ago. Uh, episodes, whatever, ago, too. You people are gonna have no dialogue changes to fight the fact that your princess, missing princess that you thought dead for like 15 years has suddenly turned home. Is this big news to people outside the throne room? I figured there'd be like a party and like drunkenness everywhere. Be like, hooray! We missed you so much. How have you been doing? Oh, you've been up to pirating? Uh, yeah, but whatever, I don't care, you're home now. You know, like, where's that dialogue? Like, seriously? Hi. Well, it turns out it is. Why don't you go in the throne room and say hello? It's not a party unless everybody can celebrate. I mean, I mean, they're in charge now. Can't they say, let everybody in here? Well, yeah, I took my time. Do people say anything different? Okay, now you say something different. And, and, and the little boys aren't outside anymore. Is it getting dark? Is it past their curfew? Alright, so at least somebody says something different here. Hey, what, what, what about that guard on, like, Nightwatch over here, or whatever? Well, y'all know what I mean. Hi! Alright, fine, you don't have anything interesting to say, either. Excuse me, madam. Anything else in the secret room over here? Love empty room with just a staircase. Aha! There's treasure here! It's empty! 
Well, who came in here and shut it? Why does he have a dialogue portrait saying it's empty when we've seen other dialogues about empty chests just saying it's empty? Hmm. Actually, I don't think that means anything, but it's just something to notice. I need a new controller. This left button sucks. I have to press it down so hard. And it, like, kills my thumb. Wait, what? Uh, excuse me, sir. Would you like to watch where you're going? Okay. Well, at least you apologized. All right. Yeah, I want to see my chocobo. Yes. Okay, all right, all right. Bubbles, you do have a point there. However, um, a, cr a couple crucial things here. Um, number one, um, we don't all have the gift of gab over here. Um, yeah, you earn that. And, um, um, yeah, the other thing, wind drinks are functionally extinct. Hello? When would I have the opportunity to ride one? There's only two that exist. Two! And they're both males! It's not like they can reproduce themselves! I mean, I don't know how they died in this world. I can't remember what they say, but, it, but, but, you know, back home where you live, Bubbles, you know, on the mountain when it was littered! Littered with dragon corpses! Littered with them! Hello? How the hell am I supposed to learn how to ride one? Jesus! Let's explore! Gee, things don't look the least bit different around here. Gee, I, I wonder how this is all gonna play out. That was sarcasm, by the way. Um, thanks to somebody spoiling it, I know exactly what has happened here. And the meteorite is now gone. But where is, like, everybody else's reaction to this? Like, does everyone else realize what has happened? Or is it, like, kind of like, you know, um... Although, in that case, it was in, in uh, Chrono Trigger with the Black Omen. Once it appears, because it, you know, it alters the timeline, everyone believes it's already been there the whole time, because in that timeline, it has been. But in here, time travel isn't a thing. So... Should probably save... So yeah, I would find it um, kind of awkward if everyone suddenly believed this is how everything was suppo was meant to be the whole time. Boko! Oh, he's so happy to see us. Why does this not shock me? Oh, really? Tell us who this mysterious being is. Hello, Coco. Oh, she says hello. Yeah. And he says, I'm listening. Oh, he already knows. Well, fine. Yep. Go where the wind takes me. Even though there's kind of probably still no wind. Yeah! Gotta be faithful, man! And I'm standing in the rock. How am I standing in this tile? Oh, isn't that so sweet? Chocobo love. so adorable. By the way, I knew this was going to happen. I've known about this since the beginning of the game. Oh, she giving us chocobo hugs? Whatever the hell those are. Unfortunately, those don't cure cancer. However, however, they do make you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. Oh, she even waves. That's so adorable. But, but what if I wanted to go in the pirate hideout? You stay there, buddy. For real this time! Don't go wandering off. But anyway, I find it utterly hilarious that, you know, even though I do have a new shipping, as described earlier in this episode, the only couple in any sort of canon capacity in this game is the freaking Chocobos. 
That I find so hilarious. It's so adorable. Let's see how the pirates are doing. Should we tell them that their boss is a woman? Although I actually do suspect, uh, even though there is there is one that implies um, they already know, but I think as a whole they've probably figured it out. Um, because honestly, um, as a young age, it's not that hard to pass yourself off as the opposite gender. Um, but like once puberty hits, um, it's kind of hard. I'm like especially to pass yourself off as a guy, because I'm sure they've they probably noticed that you know she's never had to shave or anything like that. I mean, they're pirates. I doubt they go around shaving every day to keep themselves clean. Is that Coco up there? I'm just gonna open that just for the hell of it. Hi! Oh, that's sweet. Is he drunk? Actually, you know, you know, now that I think about it, um, these pirates have been sitting in this hideout for God knows how long, and they haven't had a ship, and even if they did, there's no wind or dragon to sail with it, so I'm suddenly getting a funny picture in my head of these pirates getting extremely drunk one night and actually having a fake wedding for the Chocobos. You know what? Someone drew me fan art or a comic of that. Seriously, I'll pay. I will pay you, fifteen bucks on PayPal for anyone who can draw me this, because this is friggin' hilarious. Hi. Oh. See, see. All right, all right. Confirmation right there, right there. They know. They know. It's confirmed. They know. Or at least he does. And he's not even the same guy who was that. Where did you hear this? Okay, I can understand you guys figuring out she's a woman, but. But how did you know that part? We haven't told anybody. I mean, I can understand the people at the castle figuring that out because some of them knew her as a child, but. Maybe it's some side effect of what's actually happening that hasn't been explained by the game yet, but I totally know. Yeah. How many of you would screw the captain if you had the chance? Admit it. What quakes? Him, hold the fort. Hi. Yep, they're drunk. Alright, how long is it going to be before they actually run out of booze? Do they, do, are they actually like going in town and shopping for it now? I don't know. Well, actually, they're probably more likely stealing it, but since they don't have, you know, like a getaway van or anything anymore, um, they might actually have to buy it now. I mean, they got chocobos here, but excuse me, Coco, thank you. Alright, so let's get the hell out of here now. I feel like I've done absolutely nothing in this episode. Well, despite the fact that I, you know, totally kicked the ever-loving crap out of x death, But... Let's get out of here. Are there no random encounters in here anymore? Like, not even the same ones from the beginning of the game, either. That's kind of awkward. I want to some free cheap ABP, goddammit. Whee! Oh, Boko? Oh, wait, no, he's down here, right? There we go. Whee! Oh, look at him run! Whee! You know, I haven't had him since the beginning of the game. Do, do, do! I can run over water! Hooray! I can't go swimming, though. Whee! And of course, this means no random encounters while I'm on the stinging chocobo. That looks awfully familiar, don't you think? Wee! I don't know where I'm supposed to go next, but actually, I'm probably supposed to go north of the castle. But whatever, I'm having an ador adorable time riding my chocobo. Deal with it. 
Let's get him a pair of sunglasses. Chocobos with sunglasses. It's a thing now. I have made it so. I'm sorry. This is so much fun. I haven't been able to do this all game. Alright, nothing over here. Alright. So, despite the fact that, you know... I haven't done anything besides getting to one battle and getting some dialogue. I'm going to have to end the episode here. So, no spoilers on anything. I, I know what's happened, but I don't want it to be mentioned until the game does. So, thank you for watching, everybody. I love how he still has his sprite turn blue even in the water. And I wish you all a good day. Look at his tail feather sticking out. Wee! Now I'm going to stink like wet chocobo. Yeah, those pirates smell. We need a bath. And those people at the castle didn't offer us a free night's stay. What a bunch of scumbags. I think the pirates are more honest men than they were today. <laughs>